This is Matthew Schultz, founder of Para Explorer Project, and welcome to this report on the state of our Queen Mary Paranormal Profile Archive and on-screen tour. During our nation's social distancing downtime, we've had to temporarily suspend our Queen Mary Paranormal Investigation Tours, of course, and that has led some to wonder, what are the spirits thinking right now? Well, many paranormal investigators, researchers, metaphysicians, and paranologists suggest spirits have universal knowledge. They know what's going on. But if they don't, are they wondering where everybody's at? Where did everybody go? Who knows? Maybe they're thankful for the break and having a big party. I can't think of a time in decades when the ship has seen nearly zero people aboard for such an extended period of time. Really amazing. And a little spooky, too. With all this free time on our hands, is there something of value we could do? And yes, we have spent the last two weeks and approximately 60 hours revamping and reorganizing our Queen Mary Paranormal Profile Archive to get it shipshape for future paranormal investigators, tour hosts, even legacy investigators. The team has conducted investigation tours for over eight years, seen well over 25,000 guests, and spent more than 6,000 hours investigating the ship's purported most haunted locations. We have much valuable data to share. It's an unfortunate biological fact that we're not going to be around in this realm forever, and it would be a real sin if this collected data is not passed on to future generations. Our goal is to forward a body of work unmatched by any other famously haunted historical landmark in the world. The Queen Mary deserves it. Before we take an archive tour, this is a good time to state that for the most part, the team does not record audio or video during our tours. Since we're an easy target for skeptics who might accuse us of perpetrating fraud to promote our tour and the ship, we stay outside the target and simply do not record. Most of the archive's content is guest submissions. They come from guests, and we feel it makes what is presented more compelling. And to those who ask how much evidence do we have and what parts of the ship do they come from, we're going to find out right now. Let's take a look at this window. It is our Queen Mary tour archive. Let's choose audio data where there's a folder for each area the tour visits. We will select the boiler room system. That would be boiler rooms 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here are all the entries, a total of 46. Each data evidence folder is named with the date of the encounter, the area it occurred at, the claim, and the type of possible phenomenon experienced might be EVP, AVP, ENP, a physical encounter, etc., and the name of the person who submitted it. They are all para-researcher friendly and easily searchable. Here are encounters from an investigator favorite, the Old Green Room, a one-time crew member waiting room. To our great disappointment, the dilapidated green room was removed a couple years ago. It has 61 entries. For those running an Apple Mac system, color key tags can be seen suggesting their research strength. Red represents an excellent capture, green is middle quality, and gray is lowest quality but still worth archiving for reference. We have revisited every audio file in the archive to refresh our memories of the encounters, establish a common audio output level for all, and confirm our edited MP3 and WAV files follow the traditional EVP presentation style with the possible anomaly repeated three times. Inside each folder is the original audio recording, our edits, and most important, email correspondence with the submitter giving us permission to post their audio publicly, giving us encounter details, and their names and contact information. Here are specific areas within the boiler room system, the old green room of course, safe room, and new office set piece that replaced the green room a couple years ago, and water softening plant. In all we have 269 entries from the complete boiler room system. If you would like more information on these guest favorite spots, we have presentations highlighting them. Let's look at other locations. This is the after engine room with 141 entries. 
famous engine room creepy corner has 23. Here we have the first class pool room with 52 entries. Let's uh, listen to one. Here's what's going on in this recording. We are preparing to leave the pool room for the night and guests are exiting the changing room, passing me by, handing back equipment, and in the background you can hear a childlike spoken word by that might be electronic voice phenomenon. A perceived human voice not heard live in real time with the naked ear when captured on an electronic audio recording device but later discovered on playback. Bye. <laughs> That's pretty cute. We think it might be famous area little girl spirit Jackie. That recording came from Christine P. of Calabasas, California. Thank you, Christine. And it looks like we have two submissions for this encounter, which is great. More the better. The pool's changing room has 118 examples. We have entries from the propeller box exhibit. 81 recordings from our deck forward. The rudder control room. Salons. And 55 entries from Shaft Alley. Let's see if we can play one from in here. Now here's a good one. Two brothers are standing at the tourist trigger object station located in the aft end of Shaft Alley and it offers uh, a cigar, a couple miniature bottles of alcohol, and some other items, and they ask a question of the area spirits. Um, if any spirits are here, do you smell any of the alcohol? Um, if any spirits are here, do you smell any of the alcohol? We thank DJ and his brother from Brighton, Colorado for the submission. They discovered the potential EVP while reviewing audio on their flight home the next day and emailed us right away. The wheelhouse has 72 captures and more areas have been archived. Let's hop to a category we're especially excited about. Comparisons, compilations, and specials. A major benefit of working aboard the Queen Mary for so long is the ability to pair up new phenomena with the same type that has been captured before, sometimes many years apart. Among our favorite is separate vocalization encounters that present the same voice, possibly the same spirit, recorded sometimes as a disembodied vocalization, sometimes as EVP, stating the same word or phrase. These files represent the greatest argument we have for the existence of high strangeness aboard the ship that sometimes baffle the most skeptical. If interested, examples can be found on this video channel and more will be released. Also included in the archive are guest written experiences, physical encounter data, and visual data, In total, we have well over 700 entries. Are all the captured voices, sounds, and imagery from ghosts and spirits? Of course not. We would never make that claim. But our belief system, our bias based on personal experience suggests some are unexplainable. And yes, possibly paranormal realm based. For many of us, the paranormal field is a study, and Paraexplore Project has been so honored to have the Queen Mary as its classroom. We encourage you to join us on social media and bookmark our website for reports, commentary, and data evidence updates.